Okay, so you had asked about how to have our windows uh, be tagged sequentially instead of having the same tag for each type. And this is usually a newer user question. So what I'll do here is I'll just tag these real quick to show what the, the question is. And this is common. When I started off with Revit, I had the same question. So basically here, uh, maybe you wanted this to read one, two, three, as opposed to every one of these tags reading one. Well, where is it getting this information from? Well, if you click on the window and you edit its type properties, you'll find that under its type mark, there's the value one. And if I change it to five, just to change it, then the all to update because they're basically tagging the type mark value. So if you want to go with a different route and have it sequential for every window, basically an instance based uh, approach, uh, the, the tag needs to be modified. And it's pretty easy to do so. You go ahead and select the tag family. We'll edit the family. Probably a good idea to go ahead and save as if you want to revert to this in its default. And I'll just uh, place this on my desktop and call it window tag uh, mark because that's the actual value that we're interested in. In fact, let's go back to the project here. So the window, each window has a unique, potentially unique mark value. There's window one, there's window three, there's window two. So that's what we'd like to tag instead. So if I head back over to the family, we can select what is called the parameter label. And then we will edit the label. And here's where you see where that parameter, which parameter is being basically mined from the object and the display this text. And you see here's the type mark. So instead of type mark, let's use mark. Bring that over and click OK. And then we'll load it into the project. So we have a new type tag, uh, we have a new window tag. Right now the window tag, uh, if I go ahead and get out of the placing these, we have window tag and then we have window tag mark. So I'll just change that and you see it update. Let's go ahead and swap all of these out. In fact, one way to easily do that, especially if you've got hundreds of them, is just right click and then select all instances uh, visible in view and then say, okay, it's going to be window type mark. And now you have one, two, three, and that is what's essentially driving the value for that uh, for that tag. And then you get your sequential. That's, that's what you need to do for your construction documents. So let me know if you have any follow-up questions, but that uh, that's the, the short and sweet version. Thanks.